Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm just going to be sharing with you guys my little kitchen DIY project. I Just a quick disclaimer, I am not a very handy person whatsoever. I have so many ideas in my head that I want to do to the house and I sometimes just wake up one day and just do it. Um, but I'm just going to be sharing with you my little mistakes that I've done with the tiling. Here we are with the finished product and some new appliances in my kitchen and I guess this is where it all started. So I headed into Bunnings, they had loads of tiles, options and it all comes in already made sheets just like this. I bought I think about 13 of these sheets. They were in $8.90 each as well as some tile adhesive as well. I also wanted some black grout to go in between the tiles. I knew exactly the look that I wanted. I've been doing a lot of research on Pinterest <laughs> on many many nights so I knew exactly what I wanted. And here we are back at home. I needed to pull out the little fiberglass sheet that was already in my kitchen. I bought it exactly just like this and it was quite easy to pull out except if you have powerpoints there it's going to be a little bit tricky so make sure you turn the power switch off before you start playing around with it otherwise it can get really dangerous. So this is the first little attempt with some tile adhesive here is the update in my kitchen at the moment so i'm waiting for a tiler to come in and finish the job so i basically started it and we um took out the little silver bit and stuck these on so you can prep it or you can just put some adhesive on and stick it on the only thing is around a powerpoint is really tricky to do because you obviously have to cut the tiles and I don't have the tools to cut the tiles. Um, I don't own a chainsaw or an electric chainsaw that could cut it. So I found someone on Air Taskers to come and finish the job for me. Also, I've done this bit as well on this side since we have so many of these things left over. Um, but so far, I am loving this brand new look. So I think it looks really, really good. So all up, I would have spent maybe 400 on these tiles and then I'm paying my Air Tasker guy I think $200 or something to do this and I, I just love this new look I think the kitchen looks so much more polished and uh, more expensive so okay guys so my little tips for tiling is that if you don't own any kind of power tool that can cut tiles then I would probably stay away from tiling situation because it makes it really hard and I couldn't finish a job myself but luckily Air Taskers came to the rescue and this is the finished product after grouting I think it looks amazing here we are with my brand new appliances for my brand new kitchen as well from Sunbeam the Barista Max coffee machine which I'm really excited about I guess now I can be hosting a little breakfast at home with all my friends the kettle and the toaster are also matching I think these three items really really make my kitchen looks lovely so I just love them in my brand new kitchen I think the tiles at the back of it looks perfect with the appliances um, and that is all for today you guys thank you so much for watching so that is all the tips so it's definitely possible for you to do it yourself you just need the right tools to go with it if not there's always air taskers so don't be scared but i will catch you guys at the next video bye now